Let's take a look at the uh, LA Police Gear Elastic Basic Operator Pants. I've had these for a little over four years now and uh, use them quite a bit, especially in the spring um, and uh, throughout the summer off and on. They're not very hot. Uh, they're made of a, of a cotton polyester blend and they, uh, they wick away moisture very well. Uh, they're highly recommended. Um, I got these for like $20. Uh, they typically are around $20 most of the time. And uh, I think I had some kind of coupon code for free shipping as well. Or sometimes you have to buy a certain amount of, uh, of, their, of their items to get the free shipping. But um, I have most of their colors and various sizes. Depending on if I want to uh, uh, you know, wear thicker clothes or if I want to wear uh, gear inside the waistband or outside the waistband. So I have two different sizes, um, you know, and uh, at least uh, I think uh, three or four colors. Uh, I really like these a lot though, man. I tell you what, I've spilled um, a lot of things on this and it repels pretty well, uh, especially water. Uh, just it basically either beads up or if it does penetrate it, it just dries within literally minutes. I mean, seriously, it's crazy. Um, so this is kind of like, uh, I believe they're, t I don't know if this was their um, coyote brown maybe. Um, it's definitely... Uh, in my opinion, it's kind of in between tan and coyote brown. Um, it's not too bad. Um, I do have some uh, some small stains. I probably need to really like uh, launder this a lot more intensely. Uh, I just kind of use this as it's my running around pants out in the woods. But um, <clears throat> so, anyways, the material is excellent. Um, it's not too heavy and it's not too light either. It's a nice mid weight uh, material um, cloth here that's used on the pants. We've got these drawstrings on the the pants legs. Uh, the knees, the knees are uh, reinforced and they have uh, two layers of cloth, so they're a lot thicker, so you won't be blowing your knees out very easily. Uh, I think they do have models or variations that you can actually uh, put in a knee pad. Um, let's just look real briefly here and see if there is an option from the inside, because on the outside you can't. Let's see here. No, from what it feels like, there's no way you can insert a knee pad. But I have seen those before. Now on the sides, we have these um, cargo pockets. And the cargo pockets are, are held open with these uh, Velcro straps. Uh, they do a really good job um, of securing them. And um, I'm sorry, I got flies on me, on my leg. Um, and, uh, and they got this uh, you know, type of a D-ring fastener so you can put something on there. And it's a pretty decent uh, pocket. It's actually pretty big, as you can see. It also has a pass-through section here on the top and the middle of this pocket. And it's, a, it's the same way over here on this pocket. It has a D-ring uh, attachment as well. Now, what's unique about these pants, and I do like it. At first, I didn't know how much I would like it. But it has these pockets on the front. Um... And they're actually fairly deep pockets. Um, it goes about down to here um, in terms of uh, it's about this, this deep. So you could put um, a pocket knife, a flashlight, a spare magazine if you're concealed carrying or open carrying. A multi-tool. Uh, you wouldn't go, want to go too heavy though. Um, it could, it could kind of cause your pants to bulge a little bit and to pull down on your pants. Um, so and you'd have to have a pretty decent belt to guarantee that you're not going to have any sagging going on. Um, the actual um, the belt loops are extra wide. I was able to get a full-size tactical belt through these, no problem. Um, so the full-size belts work. It has more D-rings here, so you could tether it, and then you can drop the item in your pockets, the forward pockets. It has just a, a nice zipper here. I don't know what the brand is of the zipper. It doesn't, I don't think it says, but it's actually a very good quality zipper. Easy up and down. And the uh, the button seems to be pretty sturdy and I've had no problems with the button closure. As you can see, this is the tag. Um, right here was the uh, the size and the, uh, the materials and stuff um, that it actually just shredded off uh, after a few years. Uh, but I do believe it was a good uh, mixture, uh, combination mixture of, um, of polyester and cotton. I, I keep thinking that it has a lot, had a little bit more polyester than cotton, and I like that for sure. In fact, I don't even mind 100% polyester anymore. I'm kind of getting to the point that I'm not uh, 
not so big on uh, cotton, um, unless it's for bandanas and such. So it has these, uh, these actual, the main side pockets here above your cargo pockets. It has reinforced uh, sections here, uh, the double thick. Uh, so your pocket knife or a clip for your flashlight or even a multi-tool can go there and it won't prematurely wear out your pocket, which is very cool. Only criticism, and just in my opinion, you may say, well, okay, right here, so it's, it's about right here is the bottom of that pocket. And you may say, well, that's not a bad, de you know, depth for a pocket. Um, so you can see it, it's, it's about right here. But honestly, though, when you're actually carrying, though, um, you know, like a concealed uh, pistol or a wallet of any size, it, it, believe it or not, it can kind of work its way out, especially in this, in the, when you're sitting, and for some reason it, it comes out. So maybe it's just this, uh, this angle here, how wide this pocket is, the opening is. Maybe if that was just a little bit, uh, came up a little higher. Um, or in my opinion, though, I think it would have been really great to just have the pocket another couple, like, you know, another two inches, maybe deeper. Just is just what I would recommend. And I wouldn't even mind seeing maybe in an additional pocket behind this pocket, a little zipper compartment that would be, you know, big enough for your wallet. You know, something like that size, like a four by four and a half or a, a four by five inch small pocket. Um, that would be super awesome if, it, if, you know, if I could get whatever I wanted. Now on the back here, it's real simple. It just has uh, these back pockets. And these back pockets have uh, the button closures. And it does have this like a rain flap, if you will. And they have these two button closures. And um, if I remember correctly, uh, let me just get my fingers in there. Yeah, I mean, they're not, they're not super deep. I mean, they, they, go, they have enough room for a wallet, and that's, that's about it. So, um, you know, I just wanted to show you these, these pants. Uh, that's about it for the review. Um, I do like the navy blue. I believe they have, they call it a navy blue. It's their darker blue, and I really like those a lot. Uh, those would be excellent for EMTs and for, uh, for people who would wear that color. Um, so this is just my review of the LA Gear uh, Elastic Basic Operator Pants. Uh, I'd say a good four to four and a half years old, I would say. Uh, these I've worn the most, uh, has the most, uh, you know, stains and coloration issues. I'm thinking a lot of this would probably work itself out if I was to really uh, get aggressive and maybe put some OxyClean on it or something. But um, you know how it is with your pants when you're out in the woods and you're always getting dirty. It's kind of hard to get motivated to really, really bear down on those pants and try to get see how, how well they can actually clean up. But uh, with that said, though, uh, the only other thing I didn't really mention was right here on the sides. Uh, there's this piece, I would say approximately, uh, maybe six to six and a half inches on each side that has uh, elastic. Uh, but I will, I will have to say the elastic isn't super strong or super, uh, aggressive and it, and, you know, collectively, maybe on both sides combined, you might get an extra inch, inch and a quarter at the most. It's not what you would consider like a, like a standard elastic. Uh, that's the one thing I also, I was a little bit, um, a little bit let down. I like a little bit more of a stretch and uh, I wouldn't even mind seeing a little bit more uh, elastic going even another couple inches on each side. But uh, that's just my preference. But it does have a lot of great uh, large belt loops. So there's no problem at all attaching a belt. That, that thing ain't going to come off. So once again, thanks for watching. Have a great day.